What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you a very different style of video. It's going to be a ranking video, something I haven't done on FIFA at all. But yeah, it occurred to me that there are many walkouts that I absolutely hate getting, particularly the flag. Like if I see the Italian walkout or the German walkout flag, it's like, oh, I know it's going to be ass. So I thought, why not actually statistically rank in order of value what each of the flags are. So what I mean by that, some flags only have one player, like a Bomiang, there's only one Gabonese. Um, so his average price for the Gabonese flag would be a Bomiang's price. Whereas France have eight walkouts. So what I've done with that is calculated their total value, added it all up and divided by eight to find the average price and rank statistically in order of how many coins you're averagely gonna get when you get a gold walkout so as you can see all 21 walkout nations are ranked worst to best via price only regular gold walkouts are counted no inform special cards icons that sort of thing and the prices are correct as of october the 23rd i apologize with the way i'm doing this video as well uh, it's not how i intended to do it i wanted to do some clever walkout animation kind of things but that's broke uh, so this is what i am using which is uh, actually google slides but anyhow we're just going to get into it so nobody's surprised number 21 is switzerland they only have one walkout and it's the one that you definitely don't want to get it is summer his average price is 10k so not much better in 20th we've got costa rica Kalo Navas is the only walkout for this nation, so the average is very easy to work out. It's just 14k, but these are the ones that you definitely just don't want to see. And then one of my least favourites is actually the third worst. It's 19th, so I'm quite kind of justified in getting annoyed when I get this as a you know, walkout. So we've got Verratti, Chiellini and Immobile. The average price is, is only just better than Kalo Navas at 14.6k. So in 18th, we have Croatia. Again, they had uh, two walkouts last year. Rakitic has been downgraded though. So we've only got Modric and he's 16,000. So the average, really easy to work out. In 17th, we've got Uruguay, kind of like Croatia. They had more walkouts last season. Uh, Cavani doesn't have his Manchester United card, but it'll probably be an 84, 85 if they ever decide to release it. Godin got uh, downgraded. So Suarez is the only walk out and because his pace has been absolutely crucified and he's only 87 he goes for 19,000 coins on the market again prices were correct as of 23rd of october they might be different now and they certainly will be if you're watching this months down the line anyway in 16th we've got germany another one of my least favorites to get in a walkout so i'm justified uh, for not liking getting this when it's just regular gold Muller, Hummels, Kroos, Stegen, Kimmich and Neuer. As you can see, Neuer, the highest value at 45,000. The average price coming in at 27.2k. In 15th, we've got Slovenia. They, of course, have two walkouts. They're both goalkeepers, 88 rated Handanovic and 91 rated All Black. Because they're keepers, they go for absolutely nothing. So the average price there is 27.5k. Moving on at 14th, another one that I just do not like getting, and that's Spain. Because there are so many whack, in terms of value, walkouts to get. David Silva, PK, Carvajal, Busquets, De Gea, and even Alaba is only 30k. The only one that's any good is, of course, Ramos. If you see Spain, you want to see centre-back and you want to see Real Madrid. He's 146,000. He drives the average price up to 35.6k. Moving on to 13th, we've got England. They only had two walkouts last year, Kane and uh, Sterling, but now there's six, I believe. Henderson, Kane, Sancho, Alexander-Arnold, Vardy and Sterling. Sterling being the most expensive at 100k, but the average is 47.3k. So it, it's not too bad, but you know we're getting to the good ones now in terms of value. 13th, we've got neighbouring um, England, anyway, <laughs> Scotland. Andrew Robertson, the only walk out there, 53,000, so extremely easy to get the average for that, which is 53,000. Moving on to 11th, we've got a very polarizing uh, nation in terms of walkout value. Chesney, 15,000, or Lewandowski, 115,000 for Poland. There's no real in between, you're either getting good or bad value, really, so the average is 65k. And now a massive jump when we move into 10th, which is Belgium. The average price has rose by 70k, so the top 10 flags are much better than the other 11. Uh, we've got Belgium, Courtois, Hazard and De Bruyne. 
Of course, you want to be getting De Bruyne last year. Hazard would have been great to get, but this year he's under 100k, so it, it's not amazing. But De Bruyne is fantastic, meaning the average for Belgium is 135.6k. Ninth, we've got another solo player. Uh, we've got South Korea, obviously Hyung Min Song, coming in at 166,000 coins. Very easy to work out the average, which is the same. Moving on to eighth, we've got Argentina. This one surprised me, but I mean, you know, it, it does have Messi, who is the fourth most expensive gold player on the market, but there are a few whack ones like Di Maria, Gomez. Dybala's not too bad, same with Aguero in terms of price, but they are under 100k, so that drastically drops the average because Messi's got to got to bring up those five players quite heavily. So the average price ends up being 173.2k, so they're eighth. And then rivals Brazil, just taking slightly above them anyway. Uh, we've got Casemiro, Fabinho, Edison, Alisson and Firmino for Brazil that are all under 100k. And Neymar, kind of like Messi, bringing up that value for Brazil. He's 885,000 on the market. The average price for Brazil is 195.2k. Uh, again, this one surprised me because I like getting Brazilian walkouts. But of course, you just want it to be left wing PSG. Anyone else? And it's under 100k. Moving on to six, we've got Senegal, kind of like Poland. Uh, there's one, well, a little bit better than Poland because Koulibaly is valued at 59k, but then Mane is 328k, so it's 50-50 again if you're going to get decent value or very good value. So because of that, the average works out at 193.5k. So on to the top five, probably... Well, actually, sorry, <laughs> I got this wrong. I thought they were... Uh, sorry. Anyway, fifth. We've got Gabon, uh, obviously Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, the only walkout there. He's valued at 238k, so that is, of course, the average price. And I jumped the gun on this one. France is coming in at fourth. This is the one that I love getting in terms of walkouts because there's just so many good ones. There's, unfortunately, Benzema, Laporte, Lloris, even Griezmann, who's under 100k. But if you get any of the other four walkouts, Pogba, Varane... Kante and very much so Mbappe, you know you get, you're getting a good value card. Mbappe being the second most expensive in the game, dragging up everyone else's um, price there. So the average works out at 261.3k. France also have the most walkouts in terms of uh, rare golds on the market. So they have eight. Uh, I think there's a couple of nations like Spain who have seven. But yeah, there's not any more than that. Moving on to number three, we've got Egypt. Of course, Mohamed Salah, you know exactly what you're getting. There's only one, and he's valued at 322k, which is why they are third. Second, kind of the same, Netherlands. Only Van Dijk being a walkout there, 410,000. The next best player is not a walkout. He's Memphis, which is, uh, he's 85 rated. So yeah, it's quite obvious. You know you're going to get a big money player there if you get Netherlands. And then, perhaps to no one's surprise, number one, we've got Portugal. Bernardo Silva, you definitely don't want to be getting at 18,000. Bruno Fernandes at 140k is not bad at all, but Ronaldo is the one everyone wants. The most expensive walkout, regular walkout on the game. 1.36 million there, and he's dragging the average price of Portugal single-handedly up to 406k. The reason he's managed to drag it up higher than someone like Mbappe did is because there's only three Portuguese walkouts compared to France, who had eight um french walkouts and four of them were under 100k which is how you know they're only fourth whereas portugal are the best flag statistically to pack as a gold normal in form so on this screen you can just see we've got all the flags there listed from 21st to first i quite enjoyed doing this video again didn't really plan for it to be on google slides i did plan to like have the walkouts coming out and you know it, it just I'm not the greatest editor, I'm not going to lie, and yeah, I, I just, I couldn't. I was spending too long on it, and I thought, nah, I just need to get this out, because by the time I finish what I was planning, it would have been irrelevant. So anyway, if you've got any other suggestions, any videos like this, I'll be more than welcome to do them. I could do an icon one, a board one, stuff like that. But anyhow, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.